Hi folks and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Emma Ryder, Psychic Medium and Angel Guide. Um, happy New Moon! It's the New Moon Eclipse tonight. It's a real exciting energy. It's almost like um, New Year's Eve all over again, okay? And um, it's a night of sort of resetting life again if you were too busy at new year and you didn't get to do your like your wish list for the year ahead you're manifesting what you want small things and big things manifest it all the new moon is a really magical energy to be um doing that okay and which is increasing this energy coming um is that it's a partial solar eclipse. We can't see it in the UK, but there is other parts of the world that can see it. But that doesn't matter. It still means you get the energy in the UK, okay? And Ireland, because um, I know most of my followers are from UK and Ireland, but that group is expanding and we are going worldwide, folks. So anyway, this is the weekly message for the, I forgot the date, you know, from the 6th, I think it is tomorrow, for the week ahead, okay? Um, and there's a real big feeling of being ready. I know I've said this like, I feel like I'm on repeat sometimes, but um, it's a feeling of preparing, being ready, I almost feel like I'm stood on the edge of a cliff waiting to like purge forward and get things moving, okay? Um, and it's quite exciting. I'm excited for so much stuff for the collective, not just myself. I know there's stuff coming to fruition for myself, um, things are changing. Um, what I would say to you is pay attention to what the universe and the angels are guiding you with because there is things are changing and there's tweaks coming in and um, it's tweaking things so then the flow is better okay so get prepared get all your loose ends tied up okay Plan, manifest, dream big, the little and the big things. Write them down, burn them if you want as in a way of giving them to the universe or write them down and put them under um, a crystal which is sort of a, I forgot my words, it's been a long day folks, um, an amplifier. So, out, so if you've got some clear quartz, put your list under the clear quartz and let it amplify the manifesting energy in that list. Um, and then once you've got ready, manifested, then get prepared for them shifts coming, okay, and listen. Because if you're feeling a resistance on getting to your end goal, and you're feeling like you know how you're getting there, okay? Because I know we all have those goals we're getting to and then we all have set ideas how we're getting there. But if you take away that control feeling of how you're actually going to get from A to B and just trust in the universe, they will send you the guidance, they will tweak things to move you around those small challenges and that resistance to get you to your end goal but even in a different way okay because there's more than one route to an end goal it's just like if you're at a crossroads you might turn left you might turn right but you can still end up at the same destination and that is what the angels are trying to help you they're trying to take you on the easier route so try and be in the moment try and listen and let them help you, let them do a little bit of the work, okay? Um, because they're really wanting to help and life's meant to be that little bit easier. It's not meant to be hard. And I know for so many of us, we've been brought up with the belief that 
you've got to work really hard to get where you're going. Nothing in life is worth getting if it doesn't take a lot of work. Well, yes, everybody's got to work a certain degree, but a little bit of help along the way to make things a bit easier is all very welcome. Okay, you don't need to keep struggling when because something you struggle on for maybe an hour, somebody might be able to do it in 20 minutes easily because everybody has different abilities and different things they're good at. Okay, so let other people help you and being prepared and manifesting this week feels like it's going to take up a lot of the week and occupy your head because. There's a lot of busyness energy going on as well, keeping you occupied and busy. So you're probably going to have to be strict with yourself and take the actual time to do the manifesting and being prepared. Um, but just know there's a big movement coming. Okay. Um, and this is in all areas because lots of people are trying to move in different areas. And I want to say this is in all areas. Okay. I know there's been a massive shift this last, I want to say fortnight, with Twin Flames relationships moving forward. And I mentioned these on a live video on my Facebook page because a lot of people don't know what a Twin Flame is. Um, and since then I've had conversations with people, I've done Twin Flame readings and um, unblocked some of the stuff which is keeping you from getting to your Twin Flame because... The twin flame is worth it, but it's not always. The twin flame journey is worth it, but it's not always an easy journey, and so there's inner work to be done to get to your destination and get to your union. Okay, and the readings are really like transformational. That's the only words I just went wow after one this morning. It was just the stuff that was coming through was like immense. So if anybody is on the twin flame path and they do want a reading, please do message me. But that wasn't what I was going to say in this. There is a lot of moving forward and coming together for the twin flames. And the coming together for the twin flames. But I also want to say a coming together for a lot of people and coming together, things falling into place. Okay. Um... It's all moving, all shifting, all gathering together. Okay, so things you've been working hard for, thinking, oh my God, am I ever going to get there? Yes, it's all falling into place. It's all coming together. Okay. Um, and just a little mention why I've got twin flames in my head. I will be doing videos tomorrow of what twin flames are. How do you know if you've met your twin flame? And I will be officially advertising the facts that I do twin flame readings for anybody that wants them because I feel I'm quite passionate about this journey and um, I want everybody to find that true love find the person they're meant to be with and when they do find them I want them to progress along that journey as the best they can so I want to be that catalyst and help them on that journey because it's an amazing journey and I can't wait for updates with people I've worked with, to be quite honest. Um, so let's see what cards, I've got the Moonology cards out because it's the new moon. So we'll just pick a couple of cards to confirm what we've been saying, clarify it. Or anything I haven't listened to that they want to tell you. Emotions are running high. Okay. And... That can be the busyness, bringing stuff to the surface and being prepared. It can bring you up some stressed emotions. Just try to breathe through them, okay? Um, and surrender to the divine. Yeah, exactly what I was saying. Is really just let them guide you. Once you've put your destination you want to be going in, let them guide you on how you get there. Don't be so set in your ways. Relax a little. Okay. And <laughs> a new start is coming. Yeah. So once you're prepared and once you relax and let the divine help you. New moon as well. New moon card. A new start is coming. 
Yes, and it's going to be magical. So believe in your manifesting list. Believe in the new stars which are coming. Everything is coming together and falling into place. And I'm super excited about this next week for everybody, including myself. So please do listen to those angels that are around you, the spirit that are around you and the hints that the universe give you. And I look forward to connecting with you um, throughout the week. Please do message me with updates. I love to hear your journeys. And if you're wanting guidance on a daily basis, don't forget I do the daily card of the day on my Facebook page. Have a fabulous week, folks. Um, really do try to get prepared this week because in a fortnight, we're going into a super full moon which is going to bring up so many more energies. So the hard work now will make it better in, um, in a fortnight's time for you. Okay. But um, have a great weekend. Namaste. Take care.